All right, so start off by taking some salt and rubbing it into a cucumber. This will remove what's known as aku, which is a little bit of bitterness, and will make your cucumber much more sweeter. So just rub it in and then leave the cucumber to sit for about two to three minutes so the salt has time to remove the aku. And then you wash your cucumber in abundant water. This is probably too much water, but just underneath the tap will do fine. Once you're done washing the cucumber, you pick it up out the water. Now with your knife, you trace out the underbelly of the whale. Make two trace cuts half centimeter deep, that's one fifth of an inch, and make sure to angle the cuts down where you expect the pectoral fins of the whale to be. For reference, check out the diagram on the top left corner of your screen to understand what I'm talking about. Otherwise, things will become more apparent once I remove the skin of the cucumber. And then once you're done cutting out the trace cut, what you want to do is remove the skin off the cucumber very carefully, staying inside the trace cut you made just earlier and removing very, very little skin. You wanna make very thin cuts. So take your time, there's no need to rush this. Just make sure you get it perfectly done. Okay, so while I'm doing this, I just wanted to let you guys know, this video is being filmed on GoPros and I just want your feedback. What do you guys think of it? Do you guys think I should do more like this? Less like this? Let me know in the comment section below. I really appreciate your feedback. Thank you so much. Bye. Perfect. Now you can see the trace cut that I did before. It's two straight lines then going down at 45 degree angles on both sides to allow for the pectoral fins. Now I'm gonna cut out the pectoral fins, leaving a section still attached to the body. So two cuts on both sides, just like so. And then you place your knife flat against the surface of the cucumber on the curved side of the fins and then you just cut, leaving them still attached on both sides so you can bend them out. Just like so, do the other side too. Once that's done, just bend them out to see if they work, just like so. There we go. And just so you can see a better angle here on this side. This is the underbelly of the whale and these are the pectoral fins. Okay, and now you lift up one of the pectoral fins, place it down against the cutting board, and you place your knife at a 45 degree angle. And then you cut through, but not all the way through, because you don't want to cut through the other pectoral fin on the other side, or flipper as you may call them too. So just make sure you take your time and find a way for the knife to go around without cutting through the pectoral fin or getting as close as possible then lifting up the pectoral fin on the other side and doing the remaining cut to make sure you don't cut through it. Okay, there we go. Now just test that it stays upright and doesn't fall forward or anything. Perfect. Now lift it up again and cut the eye spots which are the big white spots on an orca whale next to the eye. Just make two incisions again like so, and then a flat one just removing it. And it should just pop out just like this. Okay, great. Now do the other side, just exactly the same. Two cuts going in half a centimeter each, one fifth of an inch, and then a flat horizontal cut, just lifting it out. Great. And now one cut on the back of the whale to insert the dorsal fin. You just simply make a cut, going quite deep, about two to three centimeters, and then cut the dorsal fin off another piece of cucumber, just like so will do. Then you insert your knife into the cut you made earlier and twist it, making the gap bigger. And then you just slide in the dorsal fin, just like that. And as you release, it tightens around it and stays perfectly in place. Okay, so now you take a block of cucumber and cut into it a simple whale tail design. You want to go about one centimeter deep, that's two fifths of an inch. And the design, you can check it out on the top left corner of your screen right now. Or else just look at what I'm doing right here. Oh yeah, once you're done tracing out the whale's tail, what you do is you take your knife and you cut two very shallow cuts at both tips of the whale tails, just like so and make sure you don't go through the trace you just made. 
Now you take it, put it on the board, and lift up the tips of the whale tails, and cut in at a 45 degree angle, creating a V shape into it. Lifting up the other side now, and again a 45 degree angle shape, joining up with the other cut you just made, creating a V shape into the cucumber. Now you just separate this from the rest of the cucumber. Now you cut the rest of the trace away on both sides, so just one side here like this first and then the other side and now just cut off a little bit of excess of that tip that's on the back end but not too much because you need some of it so it stays upright once you create the base now just place it how you want it to stand and cut horizontally with the board to create the base so it stands up perfect now it stands up now you can keep this cucumber whale in a tub of water for about a day and it'll stay fine and actually if you keep it in a water tub for a day what will happen is the tail will actually curl up looking even better just like you see in this picture right now so that's awesome give that a try thanks for watching don't forget to check out all my other videos by clicking on the right right now also subscribe to my channel by clicking on the top left corner of your screen and check out the Mosaic Sushi Row by clicking on the bottom left. Thanks for watching, see you guys next week.